Hi, I'm Rhiannon and today I'm here to talk to you about choosing brushes to use while you're painting. There are different brushes for different techniques, mediums and styles, and if you want to achieve different effects. Let's dive right in so you can stock your kit and get painting. All brushes are made up of the same basic parts. The handle, a crimp, a ferrule which joins the bristles to the handle, and bristles, which have a heel, belly and toe. The shape, size and flexibility of the bristles determines what your stroke looks like and how much paint you can load on the brush. Choose your brush shape depending on your paint medium and the effect you want to achieve. A filbert brush is short and tapered with a rounded tip, which makes it great for blending, especially around the edges of your canvas or for creating natural strokes with rounded, not flat and sharp edges. Vary the pressure you put on the brush to paint lines of different weights. Light pressure with the tip of the brush produces a thin line, while painting with more pressure and the edge of the brush gives you a thicker stroke. A fan brush is shaped like a fan, as its name suggests, making it perfect for creating natural textures like grass, leaves and sand. You can use it to blend colours and strokes together, or use it to stipple paint onto the canvas for textured areas. Also use it for highlights in hair or cloth, as the individual fibres will create variation in colours. Flat brushes have wide, flat bristles and you can use them to create wide lines and washes, or turn them onto their narrow edge to create thinner lines. Bright brushes are similar to flat brushes, but they have shorter bristles, so you can apply paint thickly. Round brushes taper, and you can use the thinner tip to create hatched or pencil-like marks on the canvas. They're one of the most versatile brushes, and you can produce different effects by varying the pressure you apply. Triangular brushes are long and thin with a tapered point that has three main surfaces. You can use the three sides to load different colours or shades of the same colour, for instance if you're painting foliage, grass or water. A glaze brush is wide and rectangular and is quite flat. Use it if you want to paint over large areas without much detail, such as if you're painting your base coat or primer or glazing. You could also use it for creating square strokes. A liner brush has long, thin bristles and a tapered end. Great for painting thin lines, fine details and tiny strokes. You can also use it to hand letter, as the flexible tip will give your letters varying weights. Angular liner brushes have short bristles that have been cut on a diagonal. They're relatively inflexible brushes, making them good for sharp lines and edges, tight shading and painting curves. Mops are large brushes with flexible tips, so great for creating washes with a few swipes. Brush sizes start from 000, which is the smallest brush, and go up from there. Keep in mind that each brand is different, and when you're buying from an unfamiliar brand, you should look at the size in millimetres. Brushes can come with natural or synthetic bristles and which one you choose depends on the type of paint you use and your preferences. In general, natural bristles are rougher, so they're better at holding large amounts of pigment. Bristle brushes are thicker, stiffer and more coarse and are generally made from hog or camel hair. Use natural bristles with acrylic, oil paints and varnish for great effects. Never use natural bristles for watercolour painting as they'll absorb your paint. Synthetic brushes are generally smoother, which means you can't pick up as much paint, but if they have textured or rougher bristles, they hold paint well so you won't have to reload your brush as often. Brushes with acrylic bristles are great for acrylic paint. You can also use other types of synthetic brushes like polyester or nylon with other types of paint, like watercolour, oil or varnish. Synthetic brushes are often more durable and don't wear down over time. You can also find foam brushes, which come in various widths and are normally rectangular or square. Use them for creating smooth finishes where you can't see the brush strokes left over. They're great for painting furniture as you can get a smooth, even coverage quite quickly. Make sure to clean your foam brushes properly. They absorb a lot of paint and they can degrade quite quickly without the proper care. If you have any questions about which one is the right brush for you, come and chat with us at Spotlight or head online to spotlightstores.com. Happy painting.